Dan, right, can you tell me first of all just a bit about the history of the Field Studies Council and the interest in uh, the Marine Station in Millport, please? So we've been going since the Second World War and we were set up by the person responsible for education in London and during the Blitz he realised that a lot of the kids who were going out uh, to the country and being evacuated didn't know about the countryside. So in, um, straight after the war we opened our first centre in 1946 and we've been educating students ever since on, um, on environmental issues and on outdoor learning and the environment. Um, and tell me about uh, how you got involved in Millport as well. Obviously it's a significant feature as well. So um, we're really fortunate to be here at, on, at Millport and we were invited to look around the site uh, just over a year ago. Our chief executive uh, came and looked at um, Millport when there was a threat of closure and was looking at... Um, he was then asked, uh, or we were then asked... Um, see if we would be interested in trying to run the centre and we've come up with a business plan to develop it and we feel that over the next four or five years we can increase the number of students coming and learning here on Millport and we're really excited to be here and developing the site. And how many students are you expecting this year? This year we're expecting roughly 6,000 students, uh, sorry that's one, we're expecting roughly 9,000 student nights so about 4,000 students and we're hoping over the next three years to double it. And uh, it tells me about as well, you were showing us there are some plans for the future. There's obviously a lot going on with the likes of the aquarium, making it a more public facility as well. And obviously the, the investment so far in the buildings as well has been exciting. It's, I think a lot of people will be surprised when they walk in. It's, some areas are quite new, though you've also paid respect to the old parts as well. So we obviously this is the oldest part of the building, the, the main building behind us. Uh, we've redevelop much of the upstairs area, creating a new classroom space and creating new communal areas for our customers who are staying with us. We have plans to uh, develop the front of the site across here in partnership with North Ayrshire and have a new building there with 30 ensuite rooms, a uh, large lecture space and another classroom. And then we're also hoping to redevelop uh, the grey building in the background and over 2015-16 improve the accommodation there. And what we'd like to do, uh, subject to funding, is redevelop the aquarium facilities so it's more attractive to visitors coming here for the day and cycling around the island. Uh, move where the entrance is, uh, create a nicer reception area, update the exhibits, just to make it a more exciting, even more exciting and vibrant place for visitors. And finally, one of the last big issues at the moment is climate change. A lot of people have been talking about it, obviously the storms that have battered Britain over the last few months, people have been concerned about it. Is that going to play a part in the studies for the Field Study Council pupils when they come here? Uh, uh, the FSC is really keen to ensure that when we're educating people about the environment, we're giving people information about how the climate might change, but also how people might manage that. So when we're investigating things like rocky shores or looking at coastal management issues or investigating tourism, talking about climate change is a really important part of those studies. That's great. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.